Today in class, we went over this uh, learning target, which is interpret multiplication equation as a comparison. Here is our problem here. We're trying to find out what is 10 times 3 ones equals blank, ones equals blank. So what we have here is three ones. So what I'm going to do is set it up. Today we talked about um, disk and units. So we're going to talk about 10 times 3 ones. What does that look like in the ones place? So what we're going to do is add dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is 10 times. So that is one unit in the ones. So we have another one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This makes 2. And we just repeat that for the third set. And so what we have is 1, 2, 3 sets of 1's. 10 times 3 1's equals, and if you count this up, you have 10, 20, 30. So three sets of ones would equal three tens. So we have 10 times three, three tens would equal 30 ones. So if you count this up, 10, 20, 30 ones. 30 ones equals three tens. The first problem on the homework is 10 times 4 1's equals blank 1's equals blank. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at 10 times 4 1's. Just as Mr. Holmes showed you, we have 4 1's that we're going to underline. That represents the unit that we're going to look at. We have our 1's unit. We need to have 10 first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's going to be my first group of 10 ones. And I need four total, four groups of 10 ones, so I'm going to have four of these all together. So I'm going to do another group of 10 ones. That's going to be my second group. This is my second group of 10 ones. I still have to get to four, so I need another group of 10 ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let me circle that. I have three. I have one more to go because I need four sets of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have my groups of ten ones. We have ten of them, ten ones, four ones, and we have ten times. So here's my first group, my second group, my third group, and my fourth group. All together, that's going to give me four ten. So here's one, two three, and four. Or you can think of that as 40 or four tens. So 10 times four, all together we have 40 ones. And then the 40 ones is the same thing as one, two, three, four tens. And there's the solution for our first homework problem. Good afternoon, this is Ms. Messina again, explaining question 2A from your homework this evening. Question 2A asks, 10 times as many as 100 is blank hundreds or blank thousand. Well, the first thing I want to look at is that I'm actually saying that there's 10 times as many as 100. So I have 1 in the hundredth place. But I want to know 10 times that many, so I need to figure out 10 hundreds. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I have 10 times 1, and now I have the 10 hundreds. Well, that answers my first blank here. So 10 times as many as 100 is 10 hundreds. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out how many thousands 10 hundreds makes. Well, if I count my hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundreds, I know that 10 hundreds is the same as 1,000. So 10 times as many as 100 is 10 hundreds, or 10 hundreds is the same as 1,000. 